JFK's assassination immediately triggered suspicion. Two priests who were with President Kennedy say he is dead of bullet wounds. The 91 Oliver Stone film JFK depicted government agents as conspirators in the assassination. The guy couldn't do the shoot. Nobody could. And they sold this lemon to the American public. One year later, Bush Sr. signed into law the JFK Assassination Records Collection Act, which requires all records from the assassination be publicly disclosed in full no later than 25 years after the date of enactment of the act. Side note, a government report credits Stone's film with the passage of the act, saying, Americans could not trust official public conclusions when those conclusions had been made in secret. So what does all this mean? This release is, is unusual and exciting because there's so much material, more than 100,000 pages of material probably, and it's really unprecedented in the release of government documents to have such a large body of secret material that has been secret for so long come into the public record all at the same time. You will see thousands of pages that will be baffling to you. We will get new insight into CIA's pre-assassination interest in Oswald and possibly the manipulation of Oswald. We'll also learn something probably about other CIA assassination operations that they were conducting against other foreign countries. It, we're pretty sure that that sort of information is in these files. So is this the man you believe killed President Kennedy? I think we have the right man. What the, what the JFK assassination and the official story that accompanied it did was coincided with a decline in confidence in the federal government. If you look at confidence in the federal government in polls from World War II to 1964, it's very high. After the Warren Commission report is released in 1964, it begins to decline, and it's declined steadily ever since. The assassination of President Kennedy was the most shocking event of its time. And the government's account of the crime was not particularly persuasive, that Oswald had hacked, acted alone for no discernible reason. And so people began to question this finding. And it turned out that the government was holding back lots of information about Oswald, about the CIA. And so that secrecy compounded people's suspicions over the years. So really for the last five decades, Investigators, the public, people who are interested in the subject have been peeling the onion off this very strange tragedy, trying to figure out what really caused it. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.